prison's open, soldier's quarter's open. I wonder if the Roman ruins were, uh... We're watching something. Guarding. Jailing. Daisy chain switches. Attention, the power in this part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section uh, in the chain. The subsequent areas will go off as well. Switches should be turned off under. Should only be turned off under extraordinary circumstances, like when I say so. Pranks and mischief will be reported directly to Renard, Foreman Stafford. A signal flare right there. Are those rats? Those are some big fucking rats. Noyer's Journal, Part One. Finally got some answers from the engineering team. Command believes they are our old Roman tunners, tunnels uh, adjacent to our position. They're opening them this evening. Command hopes to use them to launch a surprise attack, as if any attack at this point can be termed surprise. This is a war. We are always expecting an attack. Curious to see these tunnels, though. A little dash of antiquity would liven up the place uh, a little. Uh, I'd certainly help keep my mind... Uh, it'd help keep my mind off the daily grind of the war. Um, May 9th, the officers presented me today with a rather unexpected and strange gift. Aging texts from inside the Roman tunnels. Seems they got word of my interests. I took them, of course, but the truth is these texts are far too fragile, too valuable to survive life in this horrid place. They require more delicate hands, more learned minds than mine. Still, curiosity reigns. May 11th. This morning, Acker, uh, Ackerman died of his wounds. I'd only known him a bit, considering, uh, considered him one of my better friends here. I hope heavens welcome him. Uh, to distract myself, I've been going over the texts and have quite the shock. These texts are not Roman in origin. The text is Lat language is Latin, or Latinate at least. But what they're writing about has no relation to what I know of Roman culture from any era. These texts seem to be of religious nature, or at least superstitious nature. A phrase is repeated, to cross into the darkness beyond, and then something about sight. Thirteenth, haven't slept, haven't slept, need to get this down. The texts are of a religious nature. Whoever these ancient people were, they believed that what they had found, that they had found a means to immortality. And to achieve this goal, they needed to access to what they thought was some other world, one dominated by darkness, and ruled by... I don't know. They use some words I can't translate. Ruled by something. They claimed that dark other world was full of spirits, monsters, and that the air there was endlessly alive with cries of torment and sickly rattle of souls near death. This is what they were using the tunnels for. For them, it was a doorway into some pagan hell. These texts are full of wild stories of blood orgies, of sadistic spirits, of the awful things these men and women would do to each other in worship of darkness. Mm, blood orgies. They speak at length of some substance that is meant to grant the worthy some kind of immortality and darkness. I'm on patrol tonight. Need to sleep before then. But then I'm back at this. That's why I'm reading it. I had to, I'd have to move my camera around a ton. So I'm just going to keep it in place and just read.
How close can I get to these rats? Okay, not super close. So they are very angry. The officers have abandoned us. They ran from the beast and blew the exit closed behind them. Even Joubert. They called us cowards and traitors and worse, hypocrites. Now they've doomed us. Whatever hell we suffer now, it is on them. God will punish them for what they've done. Farber's lost no sleepless. Something keeps scratching at the walls. I've heard rats before, of course, but this is different. It's not the subtle arrhythmic scratch of a rodent. It's louder, steadier. Francois has gone four times now to find the swords, and each time returned no answers, perturbed. The men like me who are who are here during the Roman tunnel incident, we share skittish looks. We dare not say anything for fear of reprimand. But we don't need to say it. We're all thinking the same thing. Later, something just howled. Not something inside the barracks, something in here with us. Like before, it's like before. But the tunnels are still sealed. They're still sealed, but it wasn't enough. All my brothers, court-martialed and gone, and it still wasn't enough. 16th of July, a demon from the tunnels is among us. It's killed Renaud. It will kill all of us unless for Leroux, for Toussaint, for Noyer, for Nicolai, Ozan, and Renaud. I will kill it myself. This is why I was not caught. This is my purpose. My revolver is loaded. My will is strong. Okay, so now we get that back on photos. This is our... This is how we had to open up that door, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so hold on. Where did I come down from? Right here. So this right here, that's the switch I just pulled. 
There's another one in this same room that I'm right in front of. And then there's one right there. But this door is locked. So I need to find... But I think that door might be... Yeah. That's nice. He's dead. Oh, H. Clement. Uh, all right. That's me! 9th of July, night. My conscience compels me now, as it failed to compel me then. I must do something, even if it costs me my own life. I must do something lest I never sleep again. I must do something or risk greeting hell itself as a relief. We must do something. I go. All right, so then I went out here. There should be a switch immediately to my right. Okay, that one's on. Okay. And then there is a switch inside. Get out! You can have it! Piss off! Fucking rat bastards. Why are you so angry? Now, there's gotta be a cloth or a med kit around here somewhere. Ooh, a note. Uh, Fournier claims one of us killed Renard. But I saw Renard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. We all hated Renard, but none of us could have done this. War is a brutality, and it is anonymous, mechanized. We fire at distant soldiers. Whoever did this, it was intimate. It was sadistic. I fear for all of us. And then we should be... It looks like we should be able to get into that room now. As it's turned on. I don't have a key. Where the fuck do I get the key? Who had the key, chat? Used gas on the beast. I sure did. Three three one four is mine. It's Lambert. Eighth of July, mid afternoon. Joubert needs a scout for tonight. 
routine patrol. Out to the communication wires and back. It'll be cloudy. Good cover. Easiest patrol possible. Sergeant wants me or Augustin to go. He still suspects one of us might have been with the mutineers. But I won't be going. How can I be so sure? Well, Augustin has agreed to a friendly game of chance to determine which of us it will be. And, using an old sleight of hand trick, there's no way I'll lose. <laughs> no, Augustin doesn't have a chance because I'll ensure he doesn't. Me? A scoundrel? <laughs> Perhaps. But when he returns and I remind him of the time he pissed in my flask, or the mysterious lice that appeared in my bunk, or the incident with that barmaid. Well, I laughed in those cases, and he'll laugh in this one. 8th of July, near midnight. Shelling again somewhere along the line. Them firing at us. I'm sure we will fire at them again soon. I hope Augustan's having a simply marvelous time out there. <laughs> Can't wait to tell him what I did. 9th of July, time unknown. It must be just before dawn. When the shelling stopped, I woke. The sudden silence always does that. Augustin's bunk is empty. I went looking for him. He wasn't in the mess, nor being seen by Dr. Jozinski, nor lurking out for a final smoke. Dax was on patrol. I asked him. He said Augustin hasn't returned from the scout. He said the words like he was pronouncing Augustin's death. As if scouts don't come running back at all hours. As if... as if it wasn't just a routine patrol. As if... All hope was lost. Now, the shelling is starting again. Uh, we'll try to sleep. 9th of July, morning. It has been hours now and Augustin has not returned. His luck did not hold. And neither has mine. What could I have been thinking? If he is gone forever... But I do not want to write it, for fear writing it will make it real. I will continue to wait in my bunk until dusk. Go lay down. And if there is no sign of him, then... Then... Then I do not know. The priest keeps staring at me, as if he can sense I have some unseen weight on me. I will not give him the satisfaction of a confession. Oh, it was nothing. A joke. I, I thought it was just a joke. I, I never thought. I, I never thought. Oh, and therein lies my sin. And Laval's was 0248. Okay. Well, we did all that. We can go, uh, and we're now healed and not leaving a blood trail. Shit, we're running out of time. Um, okay, so. There's a key somewhere. Is there something in my notes that tells me where the key is? Because I do not recall seeing anything regarding a key. Oh, that's where the key is. How do I get in there, though? I might have to grenade it, which is a lot of noise. Or...
I didn't want to use the barrel for that. I guess I'll go ahead and refill the generator as much as I can as well. I think I might have a grenade in storage. No, I had a gas grenade. Shit. Although I think I might recall... where a grenade would be. I hope that worked. It looked like it did. Oh good, it did work. Oh, piss off. My friend, after the tunnel sabotage, they're increasing security everywhere. I've been commanded to lock the door to communications. But between you and me, I'm going to keep a copy of the key in my bunk in the barracks. You never know when such a thing might come in handy. Uh, Soldat Picot. I went through all that work. is gone. Insanity. Chaos. We're in the mess and it bursts from the shadows right uh, behind uh, Boyrond? Boyrond? But Farber was there. Ready. Practically threw himself in front of the thing. And he shot it. Hit it. Dead on. The thing retreated. We thought for sure it was dead. But then, not ten minutes later, it came back for him. I heard him screaming, being pulled into the wall, praying for salvation. And now I can hear it moving again. Getting closer. Have to move now or we'll all suffer his fate. To anyone left, the code is three, five, six, two. Three, five, six, two. Who we got here? Uh, two soldat Faba. Uh, I was there when they pulled your friend Neuer from the tunnels. He'd been screaming for hours before he was located. Tied to the stretcher, he was still trying to scream, but all that came out was a horrible rasp. All of the engineers have seen things down there, myself included. We should talk, you and I, about what is to be done. Let me know when. Close on. Okay. I want to know what's in this filing cabinet. This is my last bullet, isn't it? Sure is. Uh-oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Unknown author. Wait, no. No, no Yeh's journal. I've spoken to no one of what... of what's written in those texts. I swear it. But now LaRue comes out of the tunnels claiming to have seen things described in them. My rational mind cannot accept that this might be coincidence. Nor can it be... nor can it accept the alternative. I have to tell the others what's written in these texts. Tell them... warn them. 18th of May, 1916. 
They punished LaRue for speaking out about what he saw, and now Rana has sent me for the, uh, has sent for me. I'm sure I'm to be punished as well. We're stuck between the Germans in front of us, High Command behind us, and some other horrible force that seems to lurk in the shadows all around us. I fear we are now truly beyond God's reach. 20th of May, 1916. I've been locked in Delpy's cells for the past two nights. Renaj punishment for me speaking about the texts. Nightmare after nightmare there. Dreams of darkness. Seductive darkness. Voices there. Welcoming me. I returned to my bunk and was met with the men, all of whom now have tales to tell. Nikolai, Faber, uh, Hulbeck, on and on and on. They're all hearing things, streaming things. Nights are now spent in the grip of a fear that claws up the spine and digs its claws behind the eyes, piercing mind and soul. But after what happened to LaRue uh, and me, none dare speak to the officers, not even to Joubert. And worse, raids are beginning again. I'm to go tomorrow night. 23rd of May, 1916. Back from the raid, can't sleep, shells falling. The soles of my boots are worn thin, my feet bloody and blistered. Lost too many out there, I feel trapped. 25th of May, 1916. Last night, the entire barracks was awakened by the sounds from the tunnel. Nightly, they grow louder. When I sleep, slept, I dreamt of other worlds, of pain racked in ecstasy. This morning, we are all as ghosts. Things cannot continue this way. I will enter the tunnels and see if I can find some way to end this, for all of our sakes. Okay. Uh, odd occurrences last night. Sold out Lambert, thought dead after his patrol on the 8th, returned to the uh, barracks in fine health. He carried with him sold out Clement, severely wounded from an explosion. Lambert reports the following, that midway through his patrol on the 8th, he fell into a deep crater and was unable to escape. Clement, his close friend, snuck out after him last late night last night, located him in the crater and carried him out. They were spotted, and in the ensuing attack, Clement was injured by an explosion. It fell on Lambert to carry him back. Very odd that Lambert was neither injured from the fall nor the explosion, and that he ended up saving the man who come to save him. Luckily, but battlefield luck is an odd thing. In every life, fate's winds blow erratic. Judging by Lambert's description, the crater he fell into seems to have been located very close to the Roman tunnels we unearthed. It may have been a result of work down there. Recommend a future patrol uh, investigate and make sure we have not opened up a back door into our own bunker. Okay, so I'm sus about Lambert then. Because he was definitely way too injured to do anything. 